I think that's a real new topic, which is getting a more and more importance in epileptology. So as everybody knows, the information about the degree of seizure control, about the types of seizures, their occurrence, timing, and on also the efficacy of treatments is mostly based on what patients report, so on patient diaries. And we also know that what patients are able to document is far from complete. So there are many seizures that they are not aware of or that they at least don't remember afterwards. So that we know that what they really enter into their diaries is not the information that we really need. And there is a need now for objective data that really count also those seizures where patients have no memory of. So when they lose awareness, for example, which are the more severe seizure types even, and thus even more important for the doctor to know. And so what is being introduced more and more and more and more developed is using variables, so devices that the patient can wear with them and bring with them wherever they are, and also new EEG devices, which allow to get objective signs and uh, signatures of seizures that occur. And these devices are now increasingly used both in scientific studies, but also in clinical practice in order to find out if the patient documentation is correct and if not, what the real data situation is. And I think our meeting will be mostly discussing the needs that there are from the side of the doctors and from the view of the patients. The new devices that we have available with non-EEG data, which particularly include variables which can measure, measure, for example, movements that could be based on EMG or could be based on accelerometry, or autonomic symptoms, which are very frequently associated with seizures. So that would include changes in heart rate, that could include changes in temperature or in skin conductance. These would be typical uh, assessments that we use in order to define this could be a seizure and this should be then treated accordingly. And the next step then will be how to integrate that into a patient management.